Hey guys, obviously I'm brown. Oh, I'm browner. Good morning everyone and welcome to my new YouTube video. I'm Lucy and I'm travelling with my boyfriend Joe. And we've just got here to Gilly Tea. We've been in Bali for a while now, probably like three weeks. And we decided to take a trip to Gilly Tea. It's only a two hour boat drive away. And it ended up costing us 550, which is around 33 pounds, and which is really not bad. We ended up doing a tour guide, I'll leave the number down below, because he was amazing. It was transport from our hotel to the port, the boat ride here, boat ride back, and return to a new hotel for 33 pounds, which is really, really good. I think it would have probably be just 45 pound just for the boat ride if you go to the port so definitely do it with a tour guide and um, so yeah like i said we got here yesterday i'm already loving it i didn't really get much of a chance to really search up much about this place i didn't really know if it was really busy because it's a really tiny island but there's so many tourists around we was out last night and it was like busier than just Bali itself it was mad and i wouldn't say there was as many like english people it's like everyone from all around the world here it seems sure. like and a lot of australians yeah, a lot of Australians, but that's obviously because we're near Australia. But this is something like you'd see like on Google Images or like Pinterest. Oh, like, so we're staying in a place called Gilly Amore Boutique Resort, um, and it's like rustic. See here, like kind of like stressed vibes throughout the whole hotel. When we go out, I'll show you what it looks like. It's really, really beautiful here. Um, yeah, I'm loving it. We paid twelve pound fifty including breakfast. It's got a pool, sun loungers. I'll show you as we go through. Um, but I'm really, really excited about this place. So I hope you do enjoy. Let's go. <laughs> There's a cat in our room. This cat is called Spots, though. We've been cuddling it all day. It's the cutest little cat. Come on, let's go. Come on. You gotta leave as well, or you won't come. Oh. <laughs> all the rooms look like that. It's got a beautiful pool. For twelve pound a night each. <laughs> so one thing about Giddy Tea, which makes it different from all of the rest, is that there are no motor vehicles. So it is all bikes and horse and carriage. I've not been to an island like this ever. I'll show you as we're just about to go on to the main road. So we did go out last night and um, because it's so busy here they basically have one place see here it says party tonight they have one place each night that it goes on until 3 in the morning all the places close at 11 so everyone goes to this one place and then um, they party there until 3 4 o'clock but that's because before covid like even uh, someone was telling us in 2019, it was the same. The next island complained about the noise. Yeah, so yeah, all the bars were open all night long. And the next island complained about the noise. So now one bar for every night, every designated night. That just tells you how many people are here and how busy it is. Show you the outside of the scuba diving place, the one that we're going to. I'll let you know what we think about the whole experience afterwards. <laughs> There's so many. <laughs> Here it is, called Chawagan Dive.
Wow, it is hot today, isn't it? Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. After scuba diving yesterday, we kind of just chilled by the pool. Um, just had like a chill one. So the scuba diving yesterday, I'd say was a 10 out of 10. Don't you think, Joe? As you've just seen in the footage, we saw turtles. Um, we saw little reef sharks underneath the caves. Um, loads of different fish and he was the guide was really really good because he was pointing out all the different fish their names of like sign language and stuff yeah like trigger fish was trigger going. fish what was that one where he was covering his eye and going clownfish was that a clownfish false clownfish yeah there was also lots of different like sites um for the scuba diving we went to shark point so that's where you could see the little reef sharks. You didn't really get to see them before, but they weren't swimming about. They were hidden under the caves. There's a manta ray spot where you can obviously see the manta rays. It was £38. So that's really decent for a, a fun dive. It's a loads of turtles as well, don't we? Loads of turtles. Massive Everywhere. Ones. As soon as we jumped in, we saw one. So today, we are going on a boat trip snorkeling tour kind of thing. It's for four hours and they take you to the statues which are under the sea. Uh, do you know what they're called? I'm not actually sure what they're called. They're all the... Yeah, so much noise. And we're paying 150, which is... We're not even paying 150, are we? 120? Yeah. That's six pounds for a four hour trip. It's very, very cheap here. The food is really, really cheap as well. Um, so I'm gonna take you along. It's gonna be a whole like sea vlog. A whole ocean. turtly ocean, ocean vlog. Breakfast options. So you're gonna get a chocolate bread. Oh, this one. <laughs> That's it. Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. He <laughs> loves a big one. Dinner at Skellywag. Ignore the trim. Getting a haircut. Yeah, you tomorrow. need a haircut. It's getting what a bit it? long, isn't it? Look. Wow. Uh, scuba diving you know was really, so really good. Me. But do you know what I find though? The scuba diving is quite similar to just going on a boat and going out and. You're in a scuba diving. Obviously, you're right down onto the bottom. But today, when we did the boat tour with the snorkeling, you can see all the people underneath, as you would have seen in the photos of the scuba divers. Yeah, I was next to the scuba diver. Yeah. When I dived down. Yeah. To next to, but I think where we went was different. Where we went today was different to where we went to yesterday. Mm. I'm gonna get some Asian food. I'm gonna get the noodles that you got yesterday. Oh, so good. What are you having? I've got ribs. Oh, that's chili sauce. That's chili. Yeah. 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 Burger. Oh yes. I've got socks. Socks, okay? No. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you now. This first time. Oh. 
We have uh, two studio here. Uh, yeah, the, the, the old one and the other one is. What are we doing now, Mom? Want to try your show? There we go. Uh, yes. <laughs> this moment was so surreal as we were getting our tattoos done the the tattooist's friend was playing the guitar and singing right next to us uh, it was just so so amazing and i know it's a bit random how i've just ended the video and getting a tattoo but I, i've had the most amazing memories whilst traveling i cannot explain to you how amazing this trip has been and the fact that i ended it on such a high note in bali with my mom and her boyfriend we just wanted to all get a tattoo to remember the moment because we just had such an amazing time i just basically wanted to thank each and every one of you for coming on this journey with me um i wouldn't have had such an amazing time without you watching it was so beautiful to see all of your comments underneath my videos and i love the fact that i could help you and give you a little bit of an insight before you all come traveling as well and even if you didn't have plans on traveling um i'm happy that i could basically just give you an insight into how beautiful traveling can be um and maybe persuaded you to come out uh yeah uh but yeah it is the end of an era um and it was amazing it's amazing that we get to document everything and watch everything again because moments like these if i didn't have youtube and i didn't have everything else i wouldn't be able to save um i'm gonna stop rambling on now and i'll see you in the next one bye